What's up, Above Average? Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Um, I wanna encourage you guys, if you haven't already, we're in the middle of the season of Advent, and if this is the first video that you're watching about it, um, I, I'd encourage you to go back to the beginning and, and watch from the beginning. See, we, we started with a video called Waiting. You can click the link right here and, um, and, and get on that video. Go check that out. Um, in fact, go watch that before you watch this, and then you can watch the second video, which we did two weeks ago. That one was on the first week of Advent, that's hope. Um, you can again click the link there. And then the, the following week we talked about, just this, this past Wednesday, we talked about love and again, you know, um, the, you can click those links and you could watch those videos um, just to, to kind of get into this, but just the super quick recap of uh, the last two. So Advent is the season of arrival. It's the season of, of anticipation for Jesus coming back in the day before he came as a man. Um, they were waiting for the Messiah, the Savior, and so they, they were waiting for his arrival. That's what Advent means, arrival. And so they were waiting for Jesus to arrive. Advent is really a focus on three different things, past, present, and future. Um, we remember their season of waiting for him to arrive. Um, that's the past. The present is that we, you know, we, we are with Jesus now, that he is here with us um, through the presence of the Holy Spirit. And then the future is that we look forward to his second coming, um, that he will come again to, uh, to, to judge the world and to bring uh, the church back to him. And, and we are uh, going to be with him forever. So that is what's going to happen. That's what we look forward to. Uh, but Advent is the past, the present, and the future. It's a season filled with like symbolism, right? We talk about the candles. There's four Sundays before Christmas, and each Sunday a candle is lit that uh, represents something. The first is hope, and then the second one was love, and then the third one, in, which we're going to be talking about today, is uh, joy. And the fourth one is the candle of peace. Uh, we're going to be talking about that next Wednesday. And then, of course, on Christmas Eve, the center white candle is lit that represents Jesus Christ. That light gets spread throughout the world um, through all the other candles, and everybody holds a candle, and we sing songs to Jesus. It's a super fun time. But it represents the light of God. And so the whole season is a season of remembrance, of celebration and of anticipation, right? Remembrance of the past, celebration of the present, and anticipation for the future. So if you don't know what Advent is, guys, watch those videos. They're super, super helpful um, to, to kind of help you understand. And so today, I wanna talk to you just real briefly about joy. And so you may think you know what joy is, and, and some of you may legitimately know what joy is, but I just want to kind of be very clear about it. Um, and so in the Christmas story, there's this wonderful line, the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 8. It says, shepherds were in the fields near Bethlehem. They were taking turns watching their flock during the night. An angel from the Lord suddenly appeared to them. The glory of the Lord filled the area with light, and they were terrified. Right. Um, just a side note, every time angels show up in the Bible, people are scared. Right? People get terrified when the angels show up. So it's probably not those little naked baby cherub things that you see around Valentine's Day and kind of floating in the clouds. That's not what the angels look like. Um, in fact, some, some prophecy stuff, like they, they, they look at angels and they talk about angels. It, they sound scary. So it makes sense that they're a little bit scared. But the angel said to them, don't be afraid. I have good news for you, a message that will fill everyone with joy. Today, your Savior, Christ the Lord, was born in David's city. This is how you'll recognize him. You'll find an infant wrapped in strips of cloth and laying in a manger. That's a food trough. Um, suddenly, a large, a large army of angels appeared with the angel, and they were praising God by saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those who have his good will. Let me just kind of paint this picture. These are Jewish shepherds out in the middle of the wilderness, right? They're taking care of their, their sheep. They're taking care of their flocks. They're doing what they're supposed to do. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, an angel shows up and, and just a giant angel being of light, like terrifying these people, right? And, and so they show up. These men are terrified. The angel begins to speak to them and tells them, hey, don't be afraid. I'm bringing you good news. And if you look at some other translations, it says, behold, right? Look, I, I bring you good news news of great joy right so so this idea of joy is is present like that the that your savior's here you should have joy take joy um, and so when we talk about joy we got to know what we're talking about 
because most of the time it gets kind of confused with happiness. And, and joy and happiness are kind of close, but not the same thing. Um, and, and we know this because happiness is, is here one second and it's gone the next, right? Like we can, we can be in a great mood. We can wake up in an amazing mood, have an awesome day, everything, the birds be chirping and we just happy about it, right? We, we just having a great day. Right, but then there's those other days where you wake up and you're not so much in a good mood. Maybe you don't even know why, like you just, just you're not feeling it that day, right? And so you go and, and you spend your day and everything just annoys you. Like everybody knows this feeling, like that just, oh, I don't And sometimes you can be extremely happy and, and some small kind of thing happens and immediately that happiness is gone, right? Happiness is something that is here for a moment and then gone almost instantly. Happiness is, is something that a lot of people chase and they do it through, especially in this season, they do it through buying things, getting gifts. Um, they do it through maybe, you know, hoping that they get this one thing. And happiness is something that people chase when they should be chasing joy. The joy that these angels were talking about, the joy that the Bible talks about, you need to consider it like great joy whenever you go through trials, when you go through difficult situations. Um, like that's a different world. Everyone watching this knows that excitement of Christmas. Like we all know, like there's this kind of build up to the Christmas morning. Um, and, and whether that's for you, it's, it's presents, whether it's time with family, whatever it may be, there's this build up, there's this expectation, there's this excitement that kind of builds, there's this happiness that you have. And then there's the moment when it happens. Right, that, that excitement, the, you know, you're opening presents, you're spending time with the family, you're, you're doing everything, you got the, you, you finished the presents and then there's this, this weird like lull, right? There's this weird spot in, in us that's just like, oh, well, that's over. And you look around, there's wrapping paper around and, and you realize that the moment's passed and then, then you're like, oh wait, we got stockings and you get excited again and then you get through the stockings and that's mostly like candy that you're never gonna eat or, uh, you know, it's, it's just, little little stuff and so you get through the stocking and you're like oh yeah it was off and then and then there's that lull back again and and it's like all this excitement built and then for whatever reason it disappears whenever everything's open um, that's happiness and that's what people chase and that's the reason that depression a lot of times accompanies this season more than any um, Christmas is one of those difficult times for people because they start remembering loved ones lost. They start remembering, um, you know, maybe something bad that happened on that day. Like it's, it's a, a season that is meant to remind us of the joy of Christ and the joy that we have. But a lot of times for most people, it actually brings what some people call the Christmas blues. Um, and this is just this kind of depression that, that hits in the season. And, and, and so I just want to hopefully prepare you for that so that you're not, you know, you don't fall into that. Um, but the other thing that I want to do is to give you something outside of happiness, right? This idea of joy. See, when, when Jesus came, they, they were waiting for a savior, kind of like we wait for Christmas, right? They were waiting for this savior. They were excited about this savior to come and, and the angel shows up and, and guys, I'm talking generations of people waiting. The angel shows up and says, hey, that savior you've been waiting for, he's here. And then like an army of angels shows up and starts praising God. Like imagine just this, this huge army of, of, of angels, these big, if one scared the people, right? Imagine an army of them, right? They, they show up, they start praising God. Why? Because the savior of the world was here. Jesus was born. This was the joy that they had been looking forward to. They had joy beforehand. Why? Because they were looking to something that was outside of their situations. See, the problem with happiness is it's focused mostly on circumstances, right? It's focused mostly on what is around us, what's happening around us, what, uh, what's right in front of us. It, it, it's, it's what happens to us. It's the, the situation we're in, the mood that we're feeling. Like happiness is a mood. It's an emotion that's here one minute and gone the next. Joy is something so much more. Joy doesn't focus on circumstances. It actually focuses on something that is outside of those circumstances. Set on Jesus, his promise that he will return. On, on Jesus, the, the fact that he's here with us. And, and we know that he's, he's here with us through the Holy Spirit. Like We know that and, and we have promise of his second coming. Why? Because he came the first time, right? And, and he said he was coming back. He fulfilled one promise. He's going to fulfill the next promise, right? So, so if we put our joy on something that is eternal, something that is beyond our circumstances, that joy cannot be removed 
in any situation. Joy is putting our focus on God. It's putting our focus on the things that are outside of this world. It's, it's focusing on His truth and, and what the Bible says is going to happen and so what the Bible says about Him. Um, it's focusing on something outside of your current situation. So whatever it is that you're going through, whether it's good or bad, that is not your joy. That is not your hope. That is not what we are looking forward to. The circumstances that we experience here, they are temporary. The Bible doesn't promise that, that you're going to just have glassy seas and, and everything in, in your life is going to be awesome. But what it does promise is that we have joy through it all. What it does promise is that no matter what the situation is, we can rise above it. Joy is beyond every situation. Joy is beyond every hardship. It is the presence of God in you. That joy is presence even in hard times, even in darkness, even when we're hurting because of something, even whenever things are going wrong, joy is beyond that. And so joy doesn't leave us like happiness does. So don't focus on happiness in this season. Focus on true joy. Put your mind on something that is outside of your circumstances, outside of what you're going through. Guys, I hope this encourages you. Wednesday night, we're gonna be talking about peace, and I'm excited about it because peace is something that we could all use. I wanna encourage you guys, make sure that you watch these videos Wednesday nights, Friday nights, we upload. Um, it's, it's such a good thing for you to keep your mind on the things that are above. Why? It produces joy. Guys, I love you and I hope that this helps you tonight. I hope that you are encouraged and I hope that this season brings a renewed sense of joy in you. Guys, God bless you and we'll see you soon. Peace.